the U.S.'s largest theater outlet to start accepting crypto payments. AMC Entertainment Holdings, which runs the largest movie theater chain in the U.S., will begin accepting Bitcoin payments for tickets and concessions by the end of the year, the company's CEO Adam Aaron said in a second quarter earnings call Monday. We are also in the preliminary stage of now exploring how else AMC can participate in this new burgeoning cryptocurrency universe, and we're quite intrigued by potential lucrative business opportunities for AMC if we intelligently pursue further serious involvement with cryptocurrency, Aaron said. Could this be the game changer for the struggling movie theater? Aaron said that AMC will also begin accepting Apple Pay and Google Pay payments by the end of 2021. AMC stock was trading at roughly $33 Monday morning. After the earnings release, the stock jumped 13.2% before falling to about $35 at the time of publication. During the Reddit-driven retail trading frenzy earlier this year, so-called meme stocks like GameStop and AMC soared in value. AMC's pivot to Bitcoin payments suggests the struggling movie theater chain sees value in cryptocurrencies. Why the shift to crypto? One explanation for the shift to Bitcoin may be Aaron's involvement with the quantum encryption startup Arkit. I've had to learn more in the last six months about blockchain and cryptocurrency than I learned about in the entire decade before that, he said of sitting on the board of Centricus Acquisition Corporation, which is under contract to buy the company. AMC's plans for its future sound aspirational, to say the least. Aaron said the theater chain would like to screen sporting events at its cinemas, both at the professional and collegiate levels. The company hopes to engage in meaningful dialogue with leagues and conferences to obtain the rights to stream these games. Lastly, AMC's board of directors includes Adam Sussman, the president of Epic Games. Aaron said on the call he cannot even count the number of times already he's been asked by shareholders to partner with GameStop, lord of the meme stocks on gaming opportunities. We're on the case, Aaron said. More to come. AMC's second quarter was transformational, Aaron said in a statement, buoyed primarily by the $1.25 billion in new equity capital. The company believes that this injection of funds should give the company the financial staying power to navigate boldly amidst coronavirus waters, Aaron added. The company is still losing money and burning cash, but Aaron said the company is on a path to recovery. While the highly contagious Delta variant of COVID-19 continues to spread and complicates any return to normalcy in the immediate future, the company remains optimistic about the future of theaters and its ability to claw its way back to financial stability. We're not out of the woods yet. We still live in a COVID-infected world, Aaron said. But fortunately, we can see the light at the end of this tunnel. Who carries the burden of the BTC's high transaction cost? Aaron noted that all Bitcoin purchases of movie tickets and concessions would need to happen online, leaving some questions about whether customers would be able to change their purchases after they showed up to the theater. But there's an even bigger issue Aaron didn't address on the call. Bitcoin's high transaction costs, which make it infamously bad as a currency. Who will wind up paying the transaction fees every time an AMC customer wants to buy a $10 bag of popcorn? The average Bitcoin transaction fee is currently running at roughly $2.50, meaning you're going to be paying $12.50 if you want to use the Bitcoin. It seems unlikely AMC will eat that cost, probably passing it on to the consumer. Bitcoin transaction fees are also extremely volatile, much like the price of Bitcoin itself. As recently as April, Bitcoin transaction fees were over $62 per transaction, something that could very well happen again. If transaction fees skyrocket, your $10 bag of popcorn suddenly costs $72 in fiat currency. Of course, AMC is not alone in this. AMC obviously isn't the first company to experiment with cryptocurrencies. Electric car maker Tesla started accepting Bitcoin in late March, but stopped less than two months later. Tesla CEO Elon Musk insisted the company stop taking Bitcoin because he was concerned about the environmental impact of mining cryptocurrency, a process that requires a tremendous amount of energy. But Musk said just last month he's open to accepting Bitcoin again in the future. The energy consumption of Bitcoin hasn't drastically changed in 2021, so many interpret Musk's flip-flopping merely as an attempt to manipulate Bitcoin's price, a charge the billionaire strongly denies. 
Other firms include Major Cineplex, Thailand's largest movie theater operator, is integrating cryptocurrency payments to allow moviegoers to buy everything from tickets to popcorn with Bitcoin and other digital currencies. The endeavor follows a partnership with Swiss fintech developer RapidsPay, where the multiplex operator will deploy a digital payment ecosystem built by the latter firm to integrate cryptocurrency payments at point of sale, or POS machines, at its theaters, according to Thai publication The Nation. Cryptocurrency adopters and holders can send their payments to RapidPay's digital wallet via a mobile app to make those purchases, whereas merchants in the same transaction will also be able to use the Swiss firm's POS platform to accept both cryptocurrencies and fiat bot. Major Cineplex owns 678 screens across Thailand, including 7 in Cambodia and 9 in Laos, with plans to expand to 1,000 screens by 2020, Forbes reported. The chain's founder, Vichapul Varaluk, also owns McTai, the company with the developmental licensee for all McDonald's outlets in the country, operating 250 McDonald's restaurants in Thailand. Major Cineplex Director of Marketing, Chanya Tamrong Winachai, stated with Rapids POS and the Rapids Pay mobile app, you'll be able to buy any services and products from us, such as movie tickets, popcorn, and other different products with cryptocurrency. Rapid Pay's Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with Major Cineplex follows the Swiss firm's own expansion with a new office in Bangkok earlier this month. London Theatre Direct, the agency, has tapped BitPay for its processing solution and hopes to accept more alternative currencies in the future. The agency says it's leading the way in supporting Bitcoin, and it is providing some of the best theatre London has to offer in exchange for your hard-earned satoshis. Bitcoin is an exciting, experimental, decentralized digital currency that enables instant payments to anyone, anywhere in the world. We want to embrace new methods of accepting payments online, Managing Director Francis Hellyer said. Although theater land is typically a little slower on the uptake of newer technologies, we've been pushing very hard over the past few years to set an example to the industry by experimenting with new technologies. Hellyer added that the cost saved by more advanced payment methods like Bitcoin can be passed down to consumers, resulting in cheaper and more secure transactions that are more mobile-friendly. The company says it's among the first major UK websites to accept Bitcoin as payment, and that it's proud to do its part in promoting Bitcoin by allowing Londoners to enjoy their favorite shows for Bitcoins. Many more firms are embracing crypto payments. In other words, the list continues. That's all for today. If you have any question regarding crypto, do not hesitate to reach out to us in the comment section. To continue enjoying more of our crypto videos, kindly subscribe to our channel. Do us a favor by liking, commenting, and sharing our content with friends or across social media channels.